All right, and welcome back to another video of um, Brilliant Diming and John Burl. Um, as of late, I was just taking a little break, so I haven't really done any grinding off camera. So, yeah. Um, wait, did it just... Did it just tell me that I didn't... I'm not in online mode again? I really want to experience, man. Okay. Okay, so... I totally forgot what my mission was here. <coughs> A ten. I need to catch two more, pretty much two more of these boils. Numbers you defeated with electric type moves. Oh, so I have to battle Shinx with this. And B Doof. And heavy specimens I have caught. I forgot how to accept missions. Uh, why? Okay, so I have to catch another puzzle. Okay. Gosh. There's so many requests. <clears throat> Sorry, I kind of had a long night last night, so my throat hurts. Um, I definitely feel like, if they're saying he's strong, I feel like we should probably do a lot of our side quests today. So probably be like a side quest, like a whole little thing, so. All right, we're probably gonna do this one because this one's, I think it seems smaller. Oh, wait. I can activate. Dang, dude. Dude just kept losing his stuff. We're gonna travel over there. And okay. I just need to do some research on this real quick. <laughs> Wait, number of B doofs caught. Didn't I catch a lot of these? Try it again, but I can tell you for certain I've already done these dudes. Ooh, maybe not. Precedence. Speed of we gun. That, that, okay. All I have to do is defeat two more. X. And bring out some of will.
Can star laser are already pretty much complete. Only two different kinds of Pokemon I need to battle. It's just Jinx and Beedoos in this area. And then I gotta get these rocks. I'm gonna try to catch one more thing. Oh, yep. Um, research. Okay, different forms. So there's a male and female one. So we catch a couple more. It's all right. Fudge specimens caught. Sometimes used to Aqua Tail. Then we'll just play some more of these things. What is it? I'm gonna skip a little bit, so please enjoy. Alrighty, we just came back and I just found a alpha Graphidash. Oh, and another Ponyta. Try something here. I don't know if this will go. Just waiting. The opponent tend to turn around. Turn around. There we go. <clears throat> oh, let's do something real quick. Like heal up all my mons. Um, that would be start. Oh, I'm losing my mind today. I think that boy looks here to like wreck us all pretty hard. Not right. This is what we'll do. We'll go in to the Geodude and Wow, 
run, 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 run. Way too much stronger than I thought I was going to be. Way too strong. Um. <clears throat> Alrighty then, I guess uh, I'm gonna pause the video again and time skip. All right, I came back to the town just trying to see if there was any more missions and I just found this lady sitting over here. So I have a job for you that's perfect for a high achiever like you. So I need help researching. Oh, it's those pesky beetles again. <clears throat> I look away for one second, the little scoundrels waltz right into the village. Oh, this is awful. I'm a complete failure as a member of the security corps. How can I face Captain Zaisui? Ah, whatever, like this. Now get a hold of yourself. Just watch, be watch the Bidoof and everything will be fine. But still, three Bidoof's a lot. Two more than I expected I could handle on my own. In fact, I have an idea. I've heard of these particular pests getting easily distracted if other beetles are nearby and end up letting the guard down around humans. So bring a beetle to draw their attention and I can see the chance to catch the little troublemakers. A perfect plan. If we combine forces, we'll get all three caught in no time. Oh. Okay. Where are you guys? Oh. I guess that would help if I had a beetle. We're gonna switch out. As of right now, we're just gonna switch out Starly with a beetle. Or my beetle, whatever. I think it's this one. <clears throat> show him on the map. Oh, I think we have to actually talk. Yeah, we have the doctor. Come on, b -doof. They just should let their guard down so you see another b -doof. Pesky little bee doofs. What are the walk behind things? Mm. Alright, well, we're gonna pause until we find them all. Forgot to mention, and I forgot to unpause this, but there was a bee doof over here in the corner of the, uh, the ranch area. And we're gonna skip over to the next one. Alright, this is B Doof number two. Okay. Apparently he failed at his job. Okay, there we go. Chop, chop. Got it, great going team. All right. All right, 
after some running around, I finally found him. I couldn't see him because the heat was pretty much camouflaged with the wood, so. Chop, chop. Got it. Great going, team. Nice. That puts all the little troublemakers safe, safely in our custody. Now to give them the old heave who. Hold on. It'd be a shame just to send those back to the, into the wild. My construction corpse could find use of them. Huh? You want to keep them? For those naughty nibblers have caused so much trouble for the construction corpse. Though they are just Pokemon being Pokemon. They're just... How are they supposed to know our vi village is a strict no chewing zone? <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> Shows good taste on their part to come all the way here to gnaw on our woodwork, too. <clears throat> if they. If they're gonna stay here, they are. Oh, but if they are gonna stay here, they'll have to help with our work. They've got the guts to keep trying to get into the village, plus the teeth to gnash through rocks and trees. Just what our corpse needs. How about it, little ones? Meals taste better after a day's work, I, you know. Oh my god, that's so cute. Just what I wanted to hear. I'm not convinced this lot have it in them to do an honest day's work. But if Sangawa's watching over them, I'm sure it'll be work out all night. It'll work out all night. So I guess that's settled. Thanks for your help. Sick, I got a, I got a rare candy. Yeah, I think that means I got done with the beer thing. Yep. Um, oh yeah, I did see a alpha, but that alpha was strong. Very, very strong. Number defeated. Okay. <clears throat> Alrighty. Now we're gonna do a nice lovely time skip again. And we're back, we're fighting an alpha. I don't think we're gonna beat it, but if you can get it, oh. Okay. Okay, I Yeah, we're just gonna run. Run 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 Darn. Keep missing my opportunities with Abras. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Oh wow, okay. I tricked him. Did I stand the ball? Darn. I'm sure I'm gonna need something better. I did not mean to kill it, but that was... Uh... Oh, 
Ooh, we got some iron chumps too. Oh, that's a cricket's in, I just heard. Okay, I reported, so I got six. So technically we should be good with crickets in. Uh Zubats, uh Brad to defeat more Zubats, so. Alright, we're gonna skip a little bit more. Alrighty, and we're back after catching a lot of Pokemon and doing a lot of things. I did see a couple of alphas, but I just assumed they were probably gonna be a higher level than me anyways. So and we just came back to the Professor. Splendorous results. You I dare say you've earned yourself a promotion to the next rank. Best report to Captain Sea Line, eh? I'd get right on that if I were you. So what would you like to do now? We're gonna go back to the village and talk to the lady. Then after whatever she's gotta say, then we're gonna go to get the meat cleaver. I, I, I believe Cleaver is the one from the trailers, but I pretty much kept myself in the dark from all the other games, or my bad, um, like any sort of teasers or anything like that, so my reactions will be pure reactions. That's how I like to play new po in Pokemon games. We'll grind a halt if you become incapacitated. Outcome, I imagine you would as well, since it would mean losing the food and shelter we provide for you. If you have progress to report, I'll judge its worth as so many of your decks. Hmm, you've made progress. It seems you've earned yourself a star. I probably have to do a lot of offline streaming or offline like trying to get Pokemon. Or I mean like ten ranks for all of them. With this, you officially attained the rank of second star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. You can now use Feather Balls. And Pokemon up to 30 will also obey your orders reliably reliably in battle. The reward you earn for your survey reports to be generous now too. Have this as a as well. They are further recipes you will need for crafting. And sky tumble stone, okay. You've obtained a recipe for crafting super potions. Nice. Continue to dedicate yourself to completing the Pokedex if you hope to rise higher in the ranks. Alright, now it's about time to um head over there and start doing the work. Wait, is there no you didn't give me any feather balls, but I had to make them, but I had to figure out what the weather tumble or no sky tumble stone is. Heading outside of the village. Yep. Am I, are my Pokemon healed up? Yeah, okay, they are. Right. As of right now, this is the team I'm going for until I find something that is uh, of the new generation, I guess. Um, okay, so we have to go down towards Grand Tree. Actually, what are the missions that we have? I haven't really been really good at help here with this. Flame with Drifflum. It appears that a Drifflum has been sighted playing with one of the village children. Oh, that's kind of, uh, that's kind of weird. Um, oh, okay, that one's supposed to be a little bit longer, so I'm going to wait a minute. Show the completed entry of Cherum. I don't think I've caught a Cherum yet. So we're going to go with... Actually, we're going to go back to the village and give this dude his quest. Uh, wait. Can I just go over here? 
Okay, I'm so confused. Uh, okay. No, I get it now. Go back to the village. Sorry for a lot of time skipping. I'm just trying to make it where it's not like it's me grinding the entire time. Okay, so he's way up there. Okay. Running very, very fast now. Brought me a bigger puzzle? Yes, I did, and it's not the one I own. Oh, this one, the speed's pretty good, but hey, whatever. Yep. I never expected you to bring one so quickly. I'm afraid I'm looking for a bigger one, though. One that's at least 8.2. What? Bruh. Wait, does it? That would it say the size on the thing? In the menu? That'd be kind of wonky if it did. What does this mean? Wait, I can evolve? Um, yes, absolutely. Uh, this is my first evolution. Whoa. Yo. The evolution screen is so big. Yo, that's awesome. I actually, I really like the evolution in this one. Please keep this. Or, I mean, you don't have to keep that swirly thing, but that whole menu was just sick and honestly really quicker, too. Since, you know, I mentioned it. I'm going to say, because I don't want to give up my... Wait, actually, yeah, I wanted to see how to check that... I swear, if he's eight too, I'm gonna be upset. Oh no, he's not. He just ate. Or two. my bad, it's just two. Ow, dude's picky. Okay, so that one's gonna be a um, kind of a hard one, I think. Oh hey, here's the bee doofs. Where's the other guy? It's actually kind of sick that they have the bee doofs helping out. And every Pokemon I've been catching for people, it's just been coming back. Which is also a cool thing. Alright, I think I'm going to cut it short for now. Um, I, the next video, I, I'm i not going to skip anything. Um, but we are going to go to that uh, mission that wants us to meet Cleaver. Cleaver is that, I believe, is the evolution of Scyther. Um, but I've seen the trailer for that one. So, uh, as far as that, I don't think I will guess that reindeer dude, but... Stanler's evolution, or I think it's an evolution, or a Hisuia form. But, um, yes, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!